welcome to the Green Apple Home. I just wanted to finish out my Vlogtober strong, so <laughs> I'm vlogging the last day of October. Today's Halloween, but I wanted to, I'm sorry, I didn't do so well in Vlogtober this year, but I wanted to just chat with you a little bit and run some ideas by you. So first I wanted to show you really quickly what my kids were for Halloween, although I think I'm going to do a vlog on my other channel, The Happy Normals and show you what they were. Anyways, um, Boo was Vanilla P from Wreck-It Ralph. She had a little hoodie and a skirt. Skirt and the hoodie I got at Goodwill. And we just put stickers in her hair and she had a little red bow in her hair and she looked like Vanilla P von Schweetz. These I found at a thrift store for two bucks. Wasn't, uh, fit him perfectly. It was easy, he loved it. He thought he was so cool to be a stormtrooper. In fact, um, today things were kind of hectic so we were like well let's go grab something to eat and then we'll just go right from there to our friends to trick-or-treat because we're not in a neighborhood right now so there's nowhere to trick-or-treat so um, we went in and just got some pizza real quick and Dee was like I need my mask I was like well you don't need your mask on to go eat your pizza you know we're not trick-or-treating yet how are you gonna eat your pizza with your mask on he was like yeah, but people will know I'm a stormtrooper then. Like, that was the most important thing to him. It was like, no, I want people to know I'm a stormtrooper. So anyways, we had to tell him, uh, we'll, we'll do that later. Okay, so this is what, um, they had a little trunk or treat. And so this is what she was. This was also at the thrift store, guys. Oh my gosh, I totally fell in love with this little gingham dress. It is amazing. It's like a little Laura Ingalls dress and it ties in the bag with a little bow oh my gosh it fit her perfectly as well i couldn't have asked for a little she just looked like a little pioneer in a petticoat it was so cute anyways since we've been reading um oh what is it little house in the big wig little house on the prairie we've been reading that series together as a family and so she was like oh, i'll be laura ingles so my little five-year-old was laura ingles and actually tonight when she went out she wanted to be this girl <laughs> And this, it's just a Christmas dress. We also found it at the thrift store, but she just absolutely loved it. And she said, I'm an American Girl doll. So, um, <laughs> she kind of did look like an American Girl doll, but she wanted to go in this little Christmas dress. So her costume, actually for tonight, was just wearing a Christmas dress. <laughs> but she loved it, so and she had a good time. So, it doesn't matter. It's just all about the candy anyways. Which I want to show you. Holy cow, this is what, I I did not buy one iota of candy because I was like, well, nobody's going to come to my house. But this is what they got. All my three kids got a huge amount of candy. And this is just from one neighborhood. And we weren't even out, but not even an hour. Like, they were just giving away fistfuls. It was crazy. I think because their neighborhood is pretty new and not many people were there. So they were like, eh, I'm just going to give every buddy that comes to my door a big fistful anyways that was my Halloween hope you guys had a good Halloween then the vlog that I was going to talk to you about today is getting your stuff planned early on your calendar for these holidays coming up no my November is pretty much shot because we're homeschooling we're moving so we're gonna be packing and Thanksgiving isn't going to be like, I'm not going to be doing like the Thanksgiving tree where we be thankful and I, I'll have to figure out something that I should be able to squeeze in so that I can feel thankful for something. But anyways, I'm looking more towards Christmas, like as to actually have like planned events to feel the Christmas spirit. I don't know, I just feel like my November shot. It's, I'm getting gypped this year on my November, but anyways. So I've been writing down things and I wanted to run them by you and thought, hey, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe you want to do it. Maybe you already do it. Maybe you have already like it all typed out on your computer. I'm more of like if I'm brainstorming, if I'm brainstorming, I like to have a, my pen on the paper. So this is what I have so far and I'm going to put it in a calendar format. But yeah, I want family pictures in November, so I need to schedule that pronto. Then I wanted to have a list of movies that we wanted to watch and maybe pick I mean I don't know if we're gonna get through all of these but pick the most ones or the ones that we want to watch the most like every you you got to watch the Grinch I don't even think I have the Grinch on here the Grinch is still Christmas needs to be on there anyways 
note to self. Rudolph's one you have to watch. Oh my gosh, there's the, a nativity story. The nativity story, I think it's called. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, I got it last year. Where did I get it off of? I don't know. But it's, it's the nativity story is told from the point of view of Joseph and Mary. And it kind of goes more into like how they felt throughout the whole process. It was really good. Anyways, I loved it. It was really well done. So there's that. Anyways, so I want my family to be all snuggly with lots of movies. I want to have a few crafts. Um, I want to do like a, just a little sewing ornament with the girls. Maybe just sew a little heart. Um, stuff some fabric in a styrofoam ball. Um, that You can use Dollar Tree balls. Maybe I'll do a vlog on that. Or you can... We used to have those little red balls with the 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 wrapping around it what do you call them anyways i call them snaggle balls because they have like these red snaggle things all over them and so you you when you unwind the red on it it's just a styrofoam ball so i have a lot of them that don't look good so we could use those and a snowman stick craft these are my activities that i'm thinking of um i'd like to find i don't know this might be ambitious to find a little play online to kind of have my family act out the nativity which might be pretty cool my kids like to do stuff like that I um, one time did, I found sort of an outline for the Good Samaritan, not really play form, but just like the story kind of written out and kind of assigned parts to them and they really like that. Anyways, maybe I'll get to that. The high school, the local high school is, is putting on Nutcracker for free, so I need to get tickets for that. There's a free sleigh ride going on. Um, I would like to have my family over for dinner or a family, just somebody we just haven't had people over and I'm like, we're so antisocial. We need to have someone over. Anyways, um, there's a church nativity where everybody in the community donates their nat nativities to, um, a church. And then you go and you look around and there's like five, 600, 700 nativities from different countries all around the world. It's really cool. And then there's community bands that come in and play. It's all free. Anyways, there's a town parade that's free. I'd like um, my kids to shop for each other at like five and below so they can start thinking about each other. You can also read Luke 2. Oops, sorry. Just hit my camera. Um, this year I want to try something new. It's called Cheermeister. Um, I heard about this from my friend and she said that they did it last year and that the kids really enjoyed it. She said it kind of backfired a little bit, but you you have an award like a Pringles can and then you put it like a gift certificate in there or... Um, some some fun things and whoever has been the most helpful during the month gets to open it up on Christmas Eve or, or the day before Christmas Eve but she said their kids kind of told on each other like oh she's not doing this or he's not doing that but then she said at the end they kind of got together and were more helpful and that they all agreed that her oldest got it <laughs> and it was they all agreed so I don't know I'm thinking about that I'm not sure if my kids are too young or how that would work but hopefully it wouldn't like blow up in my face and be like just a tattle fest so <laughs> I'd like to include some service I'd like to snow someone you know like in Halloween you can boo people I'd like to snow someone like leave a plate of cookies or something on someone's doorstep um that I don't know I don't know how to do this so that they'll accept it and not be like ooh, some stranger left cookies on my doorstep I'd like to do something with the angel tree and then there's a chiropractor in my area that does a coat drive every year so we need to look and see if we can donate some coats or go get some for, for cheap at the thrift store or something I like these are some of the snackaroos I like to do snackaroos there's these um, tree brownies I wanted to try it's basically brownies but you decorate it up with some like Hershey kisses and stuff in the shape of a tree with some cool whip on top and a strawberry it looks really good of course hot chocolate sugar cookies reindeer anyways I'm going to make it so like one day we're gonna watch elf and then after that we're gonna have a craft or whatever so throughout the month because there's like really three short weeks pretty much it's just I don't know I mean I guess it's four weeks but it just seems like time flies um, so if you don't have it planned out I, we usually don't go to like Christmas parties and things like that, but I'd like to have it somewhat planned so that my family can have good memories and I won't forget something that's important because really time flies in December and if you don't plan it out, then it's just like, it's it's just gone. So anyways, trying to create memories, that's what I did. Hope that you guys 
I don't know. I'm sure you, some of you already have like documents and you do the traditions every year, but, um, I was just thinking of it. So I thought I'd share that with you. Get your juices flowing. Get your ideas going. Anyways, that's my Halloween and my future progress on my Christmas ideas of what I'd like to do. So sayonara suckers. Just kidding. Why did I say sayonara suckers? I should say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home. Mm -hmm.